James Harden is 29 years old. Closer, if not on the exact same timeline, closer to the timeline of Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram. Closer, in fact, you would say, to any free agent that he would bring in this summer. And that's a real trick for L.A., is it not? The two-for-one deal. If it's true, there's so many of the K's, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, don't want to play with LeBron James. What happens when LeBron James is a Houston Rocket? All of a sudden, you're back open for business. You have James Harden and cap space and willingness for free agents to come in and join him. Not only do you get James Harden, you get the open door that the absence of LeBron James creates. How does James Harden and Kawhi Leonard sound to you, L.A.? Both possibilities in a post-LeBron James world. Who says no? I think we first established Los Angeles does not. Who says no? Let's take it from the Rockets side of the equation. The Rockets trade James Harden for LeBron James. The Rockets get older, but the Rockets' window is now. They have LeBron James' best friend, Chris Paul, sitting there waiting. Chris Paul's game fits with LeBron James' game. In fact, the Houston Rockets' system fits LeBron James. Give him the ball. Let him penetrate. Let him distribute. Surround him with shooters. You have that in Houston. Let him get to the cup. LeBron James is, I think we would all have to admit, a notch or two above James Harden. In the short term, right now, in the next year or two, do you think the Rockets would be better with LeBron James running the show than James Harden? I think the answer is yes. This deal, I know sounds crazy. This proposal, LeBron James for James Harden, I know sounds off the wall. This deal, I know sounds like a hot take. But the deal is, if you can't find the party that says no, then why is it a no? SPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Guests on the Stephen A. Smith Show appear via the Shell Pennzoil performance line. And you can always get in touch with the show through the 1-800-Flowers Twitter feed. ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Quote, buy and save on home insurance with Progressive's new home quote explorer. Only at Progressive. Dot com. 888-SAY-ESPN is always the number to call up. This 888-729-3776. You are listening live to the Stephen A. Smith Show, ESPN Radio, ESPN News. I'll get into the additional NBA banter uh, a little bit later on in the show involving um, Anthony Davis. Uh, obviously, free agent talk is not fading by any stretch of the imagination. It's only percolating and heating up. We'll definitely talk about those things uh, as well. And, of course, Meta World Peace, a.k.a. Ron Test former NBA player. Now he's got a documentary coming out on Showtime, um, and he's coming on to promote that as well. So I'm looking forward to talking to him just a little bit. Remember, he helped the Lakers win the title in 2010. Big time three-point shot before blowing a, Chris, a, a kiss rather to the crowd after that. 888-SAY-ESPN. It's 888-729-3776. Let's get back. Let's get to the phones, rather. Let's go to Craig. You're live with Stephen A. What's up? Hey, you Stephen A.? Uh, get me off speakerphone. What's going on, man? Uh, not much. Uh, based here at CFB Trenton in uh, Trenton, Ontario, Canadian Armed Forces. Uh, Long Raptor fan. Just calling to say uh, most exciting time in NBA history for Raptor fans. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not saying a lot. I mean, we know that because this is the first time uh, your team has been at the NBA Finals in this franchise's history. Now, I think Do you back think to – Go ahead. Do you think the Raptors have seen a defense like Toronto this playoffs? No. Do you think you they the, can handle you mean the Warriors? It? You mean the Warriors have seen a defense like this? No, I do not. But if anybody can handle it, it's the Warriors. Because they're experienced and they have snipers. The Raptors have a lot to prove, though. They got a, a lot of guys are the first team in NBA history to not have a top 14 pick in the starting lineup. Even though they haven't been in the finals, they have a ton of playoff experience. They got a lot to prove, and they got a superstar with Kawhi. So if anything, well, you can, can say they, you can say they have a lot to prove. I don't think that's the issue. I think they were trying to win the championship. I think they're in the finals. I think when you think about uh, you know j just arbitrary things on the side, um, I think the Golden State Warriors, you know, got. I mean, I, this is your last time at the Oracle. I think that matters. 
I think the fact is this is your last season playing at the Oracle. I don't think you want to go out like this. I don't think you want to go out like this. But I will say that not having Kevin Durant, to me, is a problem. All of this notion about they better without Kevin Durant, I don't believe that nonsense, not by any stretch of the imagination. So they do have their work cut out for them. Because if, if Kevin Durant was here, it wouldn't even be a series. I think you guys be done in five at the most. I don't disagree. What, what's your prediction on the series? Let's hear it. I got the Warriors in six. All right, I got the Raps in seven. Good luck. The Raptors, the Raptors could win this series. I'm just not betting against the Golden State Warriors. You're going to have to show me. I got to see it to believe it. I'm not going to just assume that the reigning two-down defending NBA champions with an all-star backcourt that consists of the best shooters uh, we this game may have ever seen. I'm not betting against that for a team, a novice bunch like the Raptors, that's just getting here. I'm not believing that. I need to see you do it because I got to see it to believe it. Yeah, I me too. I can't wait to see it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Melvin, you're live with Stephen A. What's up? Stephen A., we meet again. Okay, now what else? We we still having this little this little conversation about Clay Thompson making all NBA team, and I'm still going against that because first of all, the Golden State Warriors have the third best record in the NBA. So you think the third best team record wise in the NBA should have three people on the All NBA team? Well, first of all, I want to give you props because. We just I just started taking phone calls three minutes ago, and I'm already ready, re- ready to hang up on your ass. I'm already <laughs> ready to hang up on you. And the reason why is because it doesn't matter who else is on the team. We're talking about him as an individual. You understand? What he has done for the game, what he has done with his team, what he has done in the role that he's played, and more importantly, the people picked ahead of him. Russell Westbrook, we know, is a mega star in terms of his ability or whatever. Russell Westbrook didn't have the greatest year. Down in points, down in field goal percentage shooting, down in three-point percentage shooting, down in the free throw line. He shot worse in the free throw line than, than LeBron James. And they got bounced out in the first round. And he had Paul George as his teammate playing like an MVP candidate. We look at Kyrie Irving. I love Kyrie. You know how much I love Kyrie. But look at all this noise that we've been talking about all year with Boston. Lack of leadership, um, haphazard tendencies. I look at Brad Stevens and Danny Ainge and their, and, their, and their willingness to force Gordon Haywood upon the rest of the Celtics. But there were some things that Ty- Kyrie Irving could have done better. You know, pouting on the court, body language was atrocious, had to be uh, uh, consulted by confidants to get his act together. He can't be out on the court looking like that. All of this other stuff may have affected that young squad. Jason Tatum's only 21, 2021. Jalen Brown's only 22. I got to look at Kyrie Irving and say, you could have done better. I'm looking at a Kemba Walker, absolute stud in terms of carrying his team on the offensive end of the floor. Defensively, he's not in Klay Thompson's class. And so when you look at it from that perspective, I'm not thinking about, oh, you already had two other guys on an all-NBA team. It wasn't one team. It was three teams. It's 15 different players. And it's one of the greatest players, one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. So I'm just looking at it from that perspective, and I'm saying, wait a minute. Knowing that and that neat keeping him off would cost him the Supermax, cost him $30 million. What did Klay Thompson do to cost himself $30 million, man? Klay Thompson is the fourth best shooting guard in the NBA. He's not going to be over Kawhi Leonard. He's not going to be over James Harden. And he's not going to be over a healthy – Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Shooting guard? Who's the shooting guard? James Harden's your point. Steph Curry's your point. Kyrie Irving's your point. Kemba Walker's your point. And Kawhi Leonard is damn near your, thir- is your small forward. They had him as a guard. They had Kawhi Leonard as a guard. I look at it from the I look at it from this perspective of what role you're playing, who you're defending, who you're going up against, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can make an argument. I've seen James Harden at the two, but he's really your point. I've seen Kawhi Leonard at the two, but he's really your small forward. I know Steph, Clay, and Kimber, or Steph, Kyrie, and Kimber are point guards along with Russell Westbrook. I'm saying these things are debatable, but at the end of the day, you cost this brother thirty million dollars. $30 million. I got a problem with that. He cost himself $30 million being on the super team and is the third option. Goodbye, man. Have a nice day. Why don't you just not watch the finals? How about that? Since they're a the super team, why don't you just watch, watch, not watch the finals then? So it's his fault. 
The dude shoots 47% from the field, 42% from three-point range. Is clearly one of the top five shooters this game has ever seen, and you want to hold history against him or the fact that other players are on a team against him. I mean, I can't stand talking to basketball fans like that. I really can't because your, res you know, your resume doesn't matter. Chris, you're live with Stephen A. Go ahead. <laughs> Stephen A. No, I don't even know why you waste time with guys like that, Stephen I know, A. I don't even know. Listen, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the call is going to say until they open their right. damn mouths. And then when they get right. on my nerves and sound right. like nincompoops, then I hang up on them. <laughs> Go ahead. Understood. Understood. Real quick, real quick, Stephen. I can get, if I can get a quick answer from you. You think Clay Thompson would have led the Charlotte Hornets to the uh, playoffs over Kimba? Just a quick, a quick answer, yes or no? You would have swapped those two. Clay Thompson leads Charlotte to the playoffs? Probably not. I'd just like to know. Probably, Probably not. Okay. not. But, that, right. doesn't, but yeah. that has nothing to do no, with the absolutely. All-NBA thing. Nothing absolutely to do not. with it. Go ahead. Absolutely not. I, would, I just wanted your, your opinion. Okay, quick question. I think that I, I, I want to – my heart is telling me the Raptors, but I'm, I'm going to pull for the Warriors, Stephen A, because I just don't think that the guards for the Raptors are good enough. Steph is going to be too comfortable in this series. They? They're not going to put pressure on him defensively like Portland did or like Houston did. Even though damage the ball well, that still puts pressure. I don't see Lowry and those guys putting pressure on him. And defensively, they don't have the length to bother him. So he's going to be too comfortable out there. And it's, it's just, it's, it might be a landslide, Stephen A. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if it's like going to be a landslide. I'm not going to disrespect Toronto like that. I expect them to make this a series. And it wouldn't okay. shock me if the series went seven games, although I'm of the belief that it will go six. I don't think – the Warriors should want to come back to Toronto for a game seven. Because I think that if Toronto can win three games before game seven, why couldn't they win four? I think the tough I, I think what the Toronto has to avoid is being down three two going back to the Oracle. But if they're up three two for any reason, we got a problem. Because they go to the Oracle playing with house money. And things can get very, very interesting. That would be my contention. So it'll be interesting to see what's gonna happen. Right, real quick, Steve. I think the one thing that Nick Nurse has going for him is the fact that Cousins is coming back. Because Cousins is, I think, in my opinion, I don't know about yours, he's the type of player on this stage that's going to try to re-ingratiate himself and letting people know who he is. Yeah, so that's, that's play true. For Toronto. But, but he has been gone for weeks. He went down game one against the Clippers, man. You know, and this is the first time he's played. And when I watch him, again, it's just highlights. But he seemed gimpy to me. He seemed, he seemed gimpy to me then when he was on the court practicing against those boys. I don't like the way he looked. I don't like the way he looked one bit. I got to tell you that. All right. But Steve Kerr has to play him? You think Steve Kerr is going to play him? Well, he doesn't have to. He might play him for 10 to 12 minutes. He might play him in 10 to 12 minutes. He might play him more if he's making perimeter shots or less if he can't defend. We'll see. Appreciate the call. CY, you're live with Stephen A. What's up? Stephen A., my brother. Look, Go ahead, man. I mean, you live on the air. Yeah, What's I hear up? you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I my my guy, you know. You, I you appreciate try to convince, that. You try to convince everybody every day of the obvious. Like, like I don't get what you say the Warriors aren't better without Kevin Durant. But, like, when I watch it myself, like, it's obvious to me. Like, I don't get why you try to say the, the otherwise. And then when I look at the stats, it's also the otherwise also. So, like, what do you, like, can you expound on that? Like, I don't get, like, what Yeah, it's saying? a very simple explanation. I host a damn radio show. People make proclamations. I answer them. That's why. It's not like I'm in a CVS or a drugstore or a pharmacy or something and you came up to me. You'd find quick, fast, and in a hurry. You could barely get a damn word out of me because I don't debate for free. But when you're hosting a show on national television and national radio and people ask you a question, this is why you entertain idiocy from time to time. Do you understand that? Yes, but, like, I think I feel like you do it because you want Kevin Durant to come to the mix. If you want me to be honest, you call him the best player when, like, obviously he's not the best player. That's not you obvious. Mean. Hold on. How's that obvious? How is because it obvious? obvious. Hold on, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. It could be a debate. How is it obvious that Kevin Durant is not the best player in the world? How's that obvious? The word obvious is what I'm attacking here. How's that obvious? Well, no problem attacking on the word obvious because people like Kawhi Leonard do more. I, like, Kevin Who Durant's says? defense. It, Kevin Who Durant's says? Defense, 
Kevin Durant's defense. Kevin Durant's defense number one is suspect. Ke- he, he Kevin defense, Durant's he defense. He- Kevin Durant's defense was suspect over the last several years. He has been considered an elite defender in the National Basketball Association by every basketball aficionado you have out there. He's six eleven with a seven six wingspan and has shown a willingness and an ability to defend on an elite level over the last several years, which nobody would deny. What's your second point? Um, when he was on the Thunder, he didn't play defense goodbye, at all. I mean, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I just said since he arrived at Golden State. You just ignored that and said when he was with the Thunder, which was three years ago. Goodbye. I don't have time. 888-SAY-ESPN. It's 888-729-3776. I don't play that mess. You're going to answer. When you call up to the Stephen A. Smith show, you're going to answer my damn questions. You don't get to create your own narrative. Get your own show and do that. On this show. On this show. When I ask you a question, you answer the question or you get a dial tone. It's simple. I'm talking to the listeners who's holding online. I'm talking to the listeners who's going to call in. When I ask you a question on the Stephen A. Smith show, you answer my damn question. I create the narrative here, not you. Don't give me something about him in OKC. When a man is a reigning two-time defending NBA champion and an NBA Finals MVP, oh, when he was on OKC, I had an afro when he was on OKC. I'm struggling with that now, can't you tell? Time passes. Hell is wrong with these people? I don't play that. I'm telling y'all right now. You're on hold, you're calling up. You don't get to create the narrative on this show. I run this show. You answer my questions or you will get a dial tone. It's your choice. By the way, if you missed today's opening segment, Go check it out on demand in the Stephen A. Smith podcast. Brought to you by Capital One. Capital One is reimagining banking, offering accounts with no fees or minimums that can be opened in five minutes. Capital One, hey, hey, what's in your wallet? Capital One and a member FDIC. Back with more of your calls in a minute. With the Vivid Seats app, it's easy to find awesome seats to any game, and all purchases are backed by their 100% guarantee. 